if we thought yesterday was a bit tricky, yesterday's verse was a bit tricky, well then today's and tomorrow's get even more complicated. Let me read verse 9 and 10. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. The point Paul is making in uh, these few verses that is Jesus who gives grace, gifts, service gifts to his church. He gives each and every believer special spiritual gifts which are to be used in to serve him, to serve the church. And uh, the point we saw yesterday is that this Jesus who gives those gifts is this triumphant warrior, the one who's defeated all evil spiritual forces by his death and his resurrection. And here, Paul then kind of adds in parenthesis his little kind of exp- explanation to his quotes in verse 8. What does he ascended, as we've seen Jesus ascended to, to, to glory, what does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? Paul's saying, look, in order for Jesus to be ascended, he had to first descend. Now, although I'm doing this with my hand, I don't think the idea is so much is a kind of in space in terms of actual movement. So he came from heaven and he descended and then ascended. I think it's more got to do with his um, humility and then his glory. So the, the point Paul's making here is that Jesus descended. He left his position of glory at the right hand of his father and he descended to earth. He became a man. He left all those things behind in order, in great humility, to become one of us. But not just to become one of us, but ultimately to die. And to die for sinful, broken, rebellious human beings. What incredible humility he had. He descended. He descended to the lower earthly regions. I think it's just he came to earth. And he descended... But then, as we saw yesterday and as we'll see tomorrow, well, the one who descended is the one who then ascended, who um, ascended even higher than all the heavens, the one who returned to glory. And it is this Jesus that gives grace, gives gifts to his church. This Jesus, who we should think of today, of such great humility, gave us gifts, to use those gifts in humility, not to serve ourselves, not to elevate our own position, but rather to serve him. Let's use those gifts to do so.